Bernays had manipulated the American people, but he had done so because he, like many others at the time, believed that the interests of business and the interests of America were indivisible, especially when faced with the threat of communism. But Bernays was convinced that to explain this rationally to the American people was impossible, because they were not rational. Instead, one had to touch on their inner fears and manipulate them in the interests of a higher truth. He called it the engineering of consent. He was doing it for uh, the American way of life, and w to which he was devoted, uh, so this sincerely devoted. And yet, he felt the people were really pretty stupid. And that's the paradox. If you don't leave it up to the people, themselves, but force them to choose what you want them to choose, however subtly, uh, then it's not democracy anymore. It's something else. It's being told what to do. It's being, it's, it's, it's that old authoritarian thing.